Hey guys! Hello, hello! So welcome back to another video. We've missed you guys. So much. <laughs> I feel like we haven't like <laughs> talked to y'all in so long. So long. But we're officially done with our first year of medical school. Don't know what you got up, girl. Don't mean no disrespect, but I'm gonna be 25% there. 25%. And deloaded. loaded. Like, wow. <laughs> Wow. Dr. Madhu Loading. Dr. Green will be in a city near you in about three years. <laughs> but anyway, so of course, I have to ask, because you know it's been a minute, so I got to check in with y'all. <laughs> so how are you feeling? Mm -hmm. How are you doing? Have you looked in the mirror today and told yourself that you are beautiful, that you are worthy, that you are kings and queens, yes. that you are loved? If not, go in the mirror and do so, and then come back, and then we can get started. Okay. So this video, we want to talk to you guys about how we studied for the MCAT and what we did to ensure that we got the upgrade that we wanted on the MCAT. Yeah. So yeah. It's been one of those things that's like highly requested. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to make sure that we get y'all this video soon because we yeah. know that people are taking their MCAT over the summer and like right applying now. and everything. <laughs> so yeah, so we wanted to make sure that we got yeah. this video out to you guys. Mm -hmm. So don't stress too much. Obviously, the MCAT is not, you know, it's not a joke. It's but not. <laughs> we're going to give you some tools to make sure that you guys really do get the score that you want. We're just going to have five the five little, I guess, five little tips about how to be successful on the MCAT. Okay. Starting with numero uno. So set your study schedule. Figure out what it is that you need to do, whether it's, if you're studying, like, let's say you're starting in the summertime study, set aside, like, eight weeks and, like, make sure that you have what you're gonna do each week. Like you set aside that study time and make sure that you try to stick to that schedule yes. as close as possible. It's hard, you're gonna slip up some days, mm. but try to stick to yeah. it as, um, as best you can because that's how you're gonna be really successful. And make it realistic. Yeah. Take like, and make sure you put some like breaks in there and like mm -hmm. there's time for you don't have to study that specific day. You don't have to study yeah. 24 hours a day. Like make sure that you're taking breaks in that study schedule. Make mm -hmm. it so realistic that you wanna follow it. Yeah. And that includes setting your MCAT date. So make sure y'all yeah. figure out what it is that you want to take your MCAT, pay for it, make sure that you're committed so that when you actually are studying, you have like an end goal that you're, you're um, looking towards. Oh, the length of the time to study for the MCAT. Like how long should you study oh, for it? Oh, okay, yes, that so, was a very common yeah, question. Yeah, that was a common question. Max six months because more than that, you're going to forget stuff. Yeah. So, and honestly, I wouldn't even recommend six months. Yeah. I feel like that's a lot. Yeah. I feel, I feel like Unless you do a little bit of day. Right. If you, yeah. if, for six months, I feel like you'll get burnt out really, yeah. really fast if you're doing 24-7 studying. Mm -hmm. So, like that, I feel like six months includes like if people are in school at the time. Yeah. So, that's true. So, like mm -hmm. a semester, basically. Mm -hmm. You studying a little bit every day, mm -hmm. then yeah, that would make sense. But if you're just doing doing like dedicated study time then i would probably say two to three months, two to three months would be sure. sufficient enough. so number two find your mcat resource that you want to use mm -hmm. so i use kaplan would you use? and like i mentioned before the first time i used holiday hill which is with princeton it was okay. a four-week crash course like literally all day all you mm -hmm. did was like study material go i did mine online mm -hmm. so classes online study all of this all that good stuff for mm -hmm. four weeks and then um, the second time, I use exam crackers. So mm -hmm. they're just like a set of books that for each of the sections. And then I just went through the book, went, went through each chapter, um, did the practice questions and all that other stuff. So I did exam crackers. And then I ended up buying like the practice tests and practice questions from Princeton. And mm -hmm. I use those. Now, I will say when I took the Kaplan course, it was probably like two G's. It's, so expensive. it's really expensive. Um, I think that it helped me because I, I don't think I would have done well if I self-studied. So I feel like you need to realize, figure out what it is, how it is yeah. you study best. Some people are able to self study and like they do mm -hmm. phenomenal on the on the MCAT. I couldn't do that because I needed to have some type of structure. So it definitely helped to have the Kaplan books there and it was colorful and it was like nicely written and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so I like the Kaplan course course because they focused on um, how to approach the question. They didn't really focus on content. You have to kind of learn it on your own in the class, for example. But um, they definitely helped me in terms of how I thought the process, thought through the question and like approach the answers. Yeah. Number three, learn the material. Yes. <laughs> That's important. You, you can't do questions and practice tests day one that you don't know. You don't know. know. <laughs> you know your feelings gonna be hurt. You gonna hurt <laughs> your feelings. Your ego gonna be shot. You be like, dang. You be like, I don't know anything. <laughs> do not do practice questions first. 
I wouldn't recommend that anyway. That is that's like the worst way to start off. Like why would you do that to yourself? You're just doing it mindlessly. Like you don't know, you don't know anything. I mean, you know stuff, but you like why would you do that? Because I think some people like to do it. You yeah. get like a feel of how mm-hmm. it is. But if you they, don't the know, thing is, for my thing, I have like a Kaplan diagnostic. Diagnostic oh, test. Yeah, they do have they those. Do have them. And those hurts <laughs> your ego yes, so much. Yes, Kristen had those too. Yes. I feel like they expect me to know stuff. <laughs> oh, it's just I'm here to learn. Okay, I don't know anything. You teach me. Teach me everything. But yeah, because yeah, they do have those diagnostic yeah. tests. And that's I guess that's another good thing about doing a course. Like at the end of like mm-hmm. a lesson, then you can like see, how, see how like yeah how much information you retain yeah. and stuff like that. So if you want to do a diagnostic test, maybe so that you can see where you like yeah, your progress, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. So practice questions, like just to do one, yeah. don't do that. Yet. Focus on things you're weak on. I know I was always intimidated by biochem. I was always intimidated by like biochem and stuff. But those are things you want to make your weaknesses, your strengths. So tackle those. Like probably like the first when you have the highest energy during our, throughout your study yeah. time, do that focus first. on those, <laughs> right? And then you can kind of like boost your ego with the psychosocial section yeah. or like the car section of the MCAT. So yeah. yeah. Definitely. Don't be scared. Yeah. Because if you find yourself constantly struggling with yeah. a certain topic, go over that topic. Like, yeah. really go over it and review it so that way you won't struggle with it yeah. anymore. You can, like, check that off on your list on mm-hmm. the next. And then you can do number four, which is practice questions yes. and practice exams. Yes. So, so important. Now that you learn the material, now you can do practice questions. Mm-hmm. And in those practice questions, um, I know they have a tutor mode where you can, like, we click the question, click the answer, maybe, and then they'll tell you what the answer is and explain to you what, why it is, these answers, why this answer was right. Go through why the answer, the other answers were wrong. That's very, very Thoroughly, important. like... And make sure you know that. No, like, for real. Because most people, like, they see, oh, I got this right mm-hmm. next. I like, no. no. Do you know why you got it right? Do you no. really know why you got I, it right? I was right? guessing on some questions. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, why got it right? No. So go through it. Make sure you know why that answer is right. Yeah. And your thought process on how you chose that right answer. That way you can know that, okay, if this comes up again, I know I'm going to get it yeah. right because I know how I came to this answer choice. Yeah, it shouldn't take you just, like, 30 seconds mm-hmm. going through a question. No. no. It's been, like, five minutes at least on that question Mm -hmm. like so practice questions and practice exams and learning the material go hand in hand because once you get to the point where you think you're really comfortable with information and you start doing practice questions Mm -hmm. but if you are getting stuff wrong then that means you need to go back and learn that material again so it's kind of just like a back and forth process of you doing questions learning the material reviewing the things that you're not really strong in and vice versa yeah so so with practice tests make sure that you are simulating like well I know for me, the first few ones I wasn't really doing, I did it, yeah. I didn't really do and it. And some of them I didn't have, like I would do yeah, half an exam. to like, build your stamina. Yeah, sure. I would do like half an exam, so I would do like the first, the first two, two sessions, mm-hmm. and then the next day I would do the next two sessions. And simulating the test, like the real thing, especially as you get closer to your actual day, is so, so important. Because you need to build that stamina. Yes, so that means waking, like if you already set your test date, if it's at, if it's at 8 a.m., make sure you're doing your practice test. Like the last like two weeks before, two or three weeks before your test, Make sure you're in the library at 8 a.m. And then you're, like, you have your lunch ready. Like, you have it time. No distractions. Like, seven and a half hours straight, yeah. you're doing the test. Like, take it like you're actually taking yeah. the whole thing. So you can know how it's going to feel. And after a while, it does get easier. Yeah, it does. Because the first time you take a full length, you're going to be tired. I, f- I went to sleep right after mine. I was like, oh, so tired. Last but not least, we've mentioned this in our other ones but review review your test review so once you get towards the end and you're doing like practice tests mm-hmm. and practice well practice tests mm-hmm. <laughs> then review those tests so um i think like the week a week or two before my actual uh, mcat date i was taking full length practice tests every other day mm-hmm. so i would take a test one day the next day and then like relax after yeah. i took that test not worry about it like just like have fun <laughs> exactly do whatever you do just like calm down and release and relax um and the next day i would go through the whole thing mm-hmm. thoroughly so like really review those tests go through each answer make sure you know what you got right what you didn't get right everything like that so take a test review take a test review yeah, repeat. repeat. Until the day of the test. <laughs> Until the day of the test. And then the day before the test. Don't, don't do anything. anything. Relax. Go with yeah. your friends. Go see your mama. Like, all those things. Make sure yeah. you're Because you don't want to be relaxed. reviewing, like, last minute. I mean, I, I ain't gonna lie. The day before, I kind of, like, reviewed a little bit. Mm-hmm. Just Maybe some flashcards. Yeah. Like, but don't, like, take tests. Yeah, <laughs> don't, don't take do a that. test. Don't, don't like, do anything intense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I just, like, reviewed some flashcards. But yeah. it wasn't anything. <laughs> yeah. 
wasn't making cereal. It wasn't making cereal. If you don't know it, you ain't gonna if never you know. know. <laughs> the day before, you ain't gonna know it. So don't stress yourself out. Don't so, yeah. Those are so the five things. One, set your study schedule. Two, find your MCAT resource. Three, learn the material. Four, practice questions and tests. Five, content review. So now we're going to do a little quick gem for you guys and then close out the video. So, <laughs> so our gem for this week for you guys, make sure that you are taking breaks. Throughout this whole MCAP study process, take breaks. Whether it's 10 minutes, my thing is to watch YouTube videos, you know what I'm saying? It's quick. Make sure it's not a 20 minute vlog now. I mean, if you want to. <laughs> super stressed out and you feel like when you go back to you studying whatever you can't focus just take a little yeah. extra 10 minutes because you're not going to focus and the thing is if you force yourself and try to study <laughs> you're not going to learn anything like you're going you're gonna to remember nothing during that time you're going to be daydreaming so, about bad hair or exactly. whatever it is <laughs> <It's just time. laughs> my relax so yeah don't feel guilty for taking breaks but also make sure you're putting in the work to deserve those breaks Lord, just please. take care of your body like exercise make sure that everything is just in sync so that mm-hmm. Your body's not like if your body telling you to rest, rest. rest. Listen to your body. Listen Just to it. Just take care of yourself. Yeah. Because it can be stressful studying for this MCAT and just like wanting to do well mm-hmm. and part of yourself. So you want to just go as hard as you can. But you have to like listen to your body and just relax. Because yeah. you're going to do well. You're going to do well. Claim it. Claim it. You're going to do well. So just take those breaks. Take care of yourself. Because if you don't take care of yourself, you ain't going to be able to take the MCAT. Hello. <laughs> so That's take true. care of yourself. That's our gem for you guys. And that yeah. is the end of this video. So thank you guys for tuning in. in. <laughs> thank you guys. <laughs> I'm not doing this. I'm not gonna join you in saying this. So <laughs> thank you guys for joining us Thanks, in our guys. first video or whatever video. Whatever, uh, this whatever MCAT, series. <laughs> MCAT series or application series. Uh, yeah. We have more videos coming for you guys. We got a lot of good stuff, y'all. Yes, a don't forget. Oh, we've been getting a lot of questions from you guys and I yes, on so Twitter. Thank you. Thank you so money. much. We love you guys. Yeah. We appreciate all of your questions. We're trying to get back to you as soon as we possibly yes, can. We and we have more time now. Yes, so. we do. We have about two and a half months. Y'all better slide in DMs. Y'all been sliding. So Twitter, y'all been doing very well at chocolate underscore docs. Instagram, the chocolate docs. Facebook, the chocolate docs. Email yes. us, the chocolate docs at gmail.com. Yeah. Um, and we will try to get back to you the same day. So. Yeah. Share, like, comment, like, <laughs> subscribe. Subscribe, y'all. Don't be watching this and don't subscribe. You know, what I'm you know you want to support and show Share love. with your friends. Let them, let them know. Like, yes. if, if you know somebody that's trying to go to medical school, share this video with them. Why you gonna do that?